Welcome to my channel CA Joyam. Today we shall discuss some updates in GST and one update in MSME. Please like and subscribe to the channel and surely go through the PowerPoint presentation. It will help you in remembering the updates. Good morning. Last week of 2023, wish everyone a pleasant, happy new year 2024 in advance. Enjoy the year, grow more in knowledge, help others. Now, सबसे पहले अपडेट ये है जो विवाद से विश्वास स्कीम वन फॉर एम एस सी लॉन्च हुआ था बजट 2023 में जिसका ड्यू डेट फॉर क्लेम सबमिशन हैज एंडेड बट नाउ यू कैन अगेन फाइल द क्लेम फॉर सेटलमेंट ऑफ एरियर्स विवाद से विश्वास स्कीम वन फॉर एम एस सी मीज फ्रॉम फर्स्ट जनवरी टू थाउजेंड मार्च टू The scheme has been extended due to lack of communication from the government, officers, departments. Many people were not avail, uh, uh, aware of such a scheme. So, Vivaad Se Vishwas Scheme 1, which means 95% of your EMD, SD can be refunded by the government in case your project and execution has been stopped by COVID-19 pandemic. For projects between 1st February 2020 till 31st March 2022 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So, Vivaad Se Vishwa Scheme 1 ka claim submission and settlement ka period extend karke 1st January 2024 to 31st March 2024 ke beech mein aap file kar sakte hai. Dousra GST. There are so many updates. First is the much awaited newly registered good transport operators or agencies gta jinko bolte hai can now file an extra 5 online ye kya hai declaration that they wish to avail the forward charge mechanism in gst matlab invoice plus gst raise karenge aage clients pe ये ऑप्शन पहले मैनुअल था अब इसको ऑनलाइन कर दिया गया है विथ इफेक्ट वाइड सर्कुलर फ्रॉम 29 दिसंबर 2023। सो नाउ द न्यूली रजिस्टर्ड जीटीए कैन सबमिट एन एक्सचर फाइव ऑनलाइन इवन इफ दे हैव फाइल्ड मैनुअली दे कैन स्टिल फाइल दिस एन एक्सचर फाइव ऑनलाइन ऑन द जीएसटी पोर्टल एंड अवेल द बेनिफिट ऑफ टेकिंग जीएसटी अंडर द फॉरवर्ड चार्ज मैकेनिज्म The due date for availing this feature of forward charge mechanism and extra 5 online filing for the current year and thereafter is January 28th, 2024. So keep this in mind. Now, another circular by the GST department issued on 29th December 2023 is that Financial year 18-19 ka, ka show cause notices or assessment orders ka due date bada ke 31 January 2024 kar diya gaya hai. Matlab ek mahine se extend kar diya gaya hai. Aur iska orders pass kar sakte hai 30 April 2024 tak. Department ne ye time limit khud bada ke liya hua hai. So this order assessment or show cause notice issuing period is now extended for financial year 1819 till 31st Jan 2024 and the order can be issued up to 30th April 2024. Same ditto for 2019-20 the time has been extended. How the time has been extended for passing show cause notices and assessment order the department can issue such orders up to 31st May 2024 correct and the orders can be passed up to 31st August 2024 extended by two months but sufficient time shall be provided to the SEC of 15 to 30 days to reply such orders or to such reply uh, to towards such uh, show cause notices or assessment orders but misrepresentation, defalcation, suppression of fact, fraud, misrepresentation के जो orders है, वो वैसे भी अगले दो साल तक चलने वाले हो, as it is extended ही है, this is for non-fraud, non-misrepresentation cases के लिए, थोड़ा थोड़ा due dates बढ़ा के department ने लिया हुआ है, now again wide a circular on 29th December 2023, the CBIC, has provided a separate facility on the GST portal 
फॉर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक क्रेडिट एंड रिक्लेम स्टेटमेंट मतलब जो आईटीसी आपको रिवर्सल करना पड़ेगा या तो सप्लायर ने पे नहीं किया या अवेलेबल नहीं है या मिसमैच है तो द सेल्फ डिक्लेरेशन मोड हैज नाउ बीन मेड ऑनलाइन अंडर द हेड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक क्रेडिट एंड रिक्लेम स्टेटमेंट दिस is now available online this statement was made available to help the taxpayers track separately what has been reversed and what has been reclaimed what has been reversed as per table 4b2 and what has been reclaimed as per table 4d1 and 4a5 to facilitate the correct reporting of itc reversal and reclaiming the itc the date has been extended to 31st january 2024 you can make three amendments voluntarily after the first declaration but the amendment time period is maximum 29th february 2024 which happens to be a leap year so one day extra in february so keep this in mind the circulars from cbic pertaining to gst goods transport authorities the assessment period for 1819 and the itc reversal and reclaim therefore in separate tables has been made online now with immediate effect known as the electronic credit and reclaim statement table for b2 for reversal for d1 for claiming back and for a5 for claiming back the uh, itc after reversal so keep this in mind we will be back i will be back with more such update videos in the new year hope you have a wonderful year ending and yes remember the due date for financial year 22 23 belated itr is tomorrow that is 31st december and the gst annual returns 9 and 9c also is tomorrow that is 31st december have a wonderful year ahead 2024 and happy new year in advance once again